Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie and today I have a new vlog for you. Do you know what I was thinking about that? I don't know why I say that. Why do I say it's a new vlog? What else is it going to be? I don't know. But today we are, let's come over here. Um, today I'm kind of hanging out with my sister. Well, I'm not really hanging out with her. So I think last year I told you guys, I don't know if I took it out. I can't remember, um, that I've got loads of stuff in my mum's attic and at some point this year I was going to empty it. Once I'd sorted my attic I was going to then take her stuff and refill my attic basically. But I got a text from my mum this weekend and she was like, can you, can you take your stuff out of the attic because we need it. I don't know what for, there's loads of room up there so I don't know why she needs to take my stuff out to put her stuff in but there you go. So. Today, my sister and I are taking our cars and going to get all my stuff out of the attic. Basically. So I thought I'd take you guys along to have a sort of declutter my mum's attic and a reclutter my house. So that'll be fun. And then later today I've got a an eye appointment and um, I'm going to maybe get to pick some new glasses. So that'll be cool. Anyway, I'm going to go just now. And I will see you in the car. Hey, I heard you got a new best friend Yeah, it hurts a bit, I won't pretend that it doesn't matter That you're with someone else mm. In a way, that's how it's supposed to be If I'm unable to make you happy Then it's for the better that you are not with me dark but it's it's because I'm hurt. Is that better? Yeah, yeah it is a bit better. Um, so yeah we got the everything out the attic. Sorry I didn't get I didn't get a lot of film done. I got a couple of shots but not a lot. Um, but yeah so it's all packed. 
it's all packed. And we managed to get it into this car, so we didn't even really need my sister's car. But she took some of her own stuff, so. And she also took, like, my keyboard and that. I need to find the... The cord and that, the cable and that for Alfie. So, yeah. So I'm just going to go into my eye appointment now. So I will see you after my appointment. Hi, guys. So it's actually now Monday. So after my opticians, I went to my dad's. And by the time I go back, it was really late. So I never really went through my stuff. But I thought I would show you what I've kept from what I've picked up from what I've got back from my mum and dad's. Well, for my mum's and my dad's, if that makes sense. Um, so, <laughs> now I will say, there was a lot. My car was, like, full. And we've I've already gone through and kind of gone, okay, I don't want that, I don't want that. So I'm just going to show you what I'm kind of keeping. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> okay, so the first is, like, this huge box of books. They're, like, really old books. I've got, like... An Audrey Hepburn book here, Redwall, which I remember kind of starting to read, but not. I got quite a way through it. Oh, not really. Um, can't remember what it's about though. I've got my copy of The Wizard of Oz. Some of the pages, because they've been in the attic, are all curled, so I'll need to fix them. I've got Hope's Romantic. But I've also got kids' books, like I've got um, Harry and the Wrinklies. So yeah, I've, I. They were spread over a couple of books and a couple of boxes and places but I managed to fit them all into this box for now. Here I've got this picture. This has been hanging in my bedroom since, I don't know, since I was about eight and I love it and it's really cute so I thought I'd keep it. And I've got this painting, well it's, it's not paint sorry it's actually, uh, I'm not sure what it's painted in, pastels probably, I don't know. And then that, oh that's a bunch of school photos I'm not going to show you them but I will show you this. So this is my first cross stitch piece that I ever did and my dad framed it for me. You can see the frames kind of falling apart and I was like I want to keep that. So I'm going to try and fix the frame. I'm going to see if I can get some super glue in those bits and just put it back together and then I'm going to hang it. Uh, you guys know I've got the um, the rainbow, the one, the little girl with the rainbow upstairs, that was my first piece in 2020, was it I finished 20, that, when I picked cross stitch up again. Um, so yeah, I thought I could hang that under it, sort of where I started, where I picked it up sort of thing, it'd be quite cute. Let's cover those skill photos. Um, this is the one from my dad, I've got some like programs from West End shows. This is just a box of like important files that I need to go through. I've got a load of crap in there, pencils, a pair of flip flops, a cute glasses case, which, and I've got these um, really old vinyl records. Some of them, they're like Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. I've got grease in there, I can go and burn the sign of music. I've also got some Hang on, let me show you. A Barry Manilow. I'm very excited about that. Uh, so yeah, this is the only box that came from my dad's. I had a couple of other things in it, but um, some stuff has been taken out. I have this box, which um, is... I have... I'll show you some more of them, but these are just like a couple of little ornaments that I have. Uh, this is the box of the ones I'm not keeping. I'm going to donate these to the local charity shop. Just put them in a box just now. I've got a pair of boots that's also going to the charity shop. And this is a bag of sheet music. I cannot bring myself to throw out sheet music. Music has always been a huge part of my life. And I just can't bring myself to throw it out. Um, it's also got some uh, notes, like critiques from singing competitions I used to do years and years ago. So that's all in there, but yeah, I can't bring myself to throw out sheet music. It's like, no, no. I've also just got some notepads, and this is like a scrapbook that my uh, my, my little cousin made me for my 18th, so I've kept that. This box is a box of wool, basically, and this bag is also full of wool. It's ridiculous. I have a ridiculous amount of wool. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Um, this bag here is 
a bag of bags. It's literally full of handbags that I need to go through and either donate or try and sell. And in here, this box was actually meant to go in the bin yesterday and I totally forgot about it, but it's got like some soft toys in it. And it's got some, just some random stuff in it. So, so my mum gave me some cross stitch patterns. She bought this when I was a baby. Or when I was, certainly when I was younger and she never got to it. So I've got a D and an L for obviously Lorraine for my mum. My sister's one my mum actually completed. So I think my sister has that one. I'm not really sure. But my mum was like, do you want them? I'm not going to do them. And I was like, hell yeah, vintage patterns. Okay, so these are the ornaments that I'm keeping. I'm not going to lie, I opened some of these up and I was like, where the hell did I get that? So this one I think was my mum's, this little mouse. And this beautiful little girl here, she used to belong to my granny. She used to sit in my granny's fireplace. And it's one of the very few things that when my grand died, I, I took it. She's freaking adorable. I have, and I don't know why, oh crap, there goes a duck, um, two tiny teapots. I don't know why I've got two tiny teapots, but I do and they're adorable, so they're staying. I also have this weird collection of like, like two bears and a dog. I don't know why, and I have no idea where they came from, but they're super cute, so we're keeping them. And the last one I'm keeping are these two little ducks, um, they're super cute. I don't know where they came from, but okay, I don't remember, like, I know obviously they came from my house at some point, but I don't remember buying them, but these are so cute, so I was like, yeah, I'm keeping them. Actually, I tell a lie, that's not the only ones. I also have these, like, what, like a little turtle, super cute, and this one. Now, I don't know why, I think my mum said they were my grannies, but I don't. I don't know where she got them, but so James has claimed them and he's they've just sat them on his wee desk. Um, what else was I talking about? My glasses. I did need to get new glasses and I was going to take you in um, and film, but it was such a bloody palava. Like, you had to go in, sit down, and you were taken for part of your test, and you sit down and taking your next bit of the test. Then you have to sit down and then you got told you could go and look for specs, but you weren't allowed to touch them. You had to wait for someone to come so they could wipe them try them on, wipe them again, like pick up your next one, wipe them. And like, I understand it's COVID, but Jesus, it took bloody ages. And it cost an arm and a leg. Can I just say, glasses are so freaking expensive, it's unreal. Anyway, so I'm gonna wrap up this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. So until then guys, be safe. What the, why can I not get this ending right? I'm going to start again. Until next time, stay safe, be kind, and look after yourselves, and I will see you later. Mwah.